Wow, okay. They're flipping the house next door and things are going nuts lately. Welcome back to Mobile Buildings where we build, live in, and tour homes that you can take with you on the road. My name is Justin and right now we are building out a Sweet Blue Bird Transit bus for Katie and Sam. And it's almost done. Check it out, guys. It looks fantastic in here. In this video, I have to solve a huge problem, and that is how to patch up the exterior of this bus. When we bought it, it had an air conditioning unit right there, and now I've got my water tank in here, but I can't have a gaping hole in the side of the bus. So in this video, you're gonna see me figure out how the heck to do this. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Let's get to work. So the first thing I'm noticing is that we have these brackets here. I guess they're riveted to these pieces. It would be probably possible for us to reuse these brackets. There's another option, and that's making our own brackets. We could bolt something into the side of the storage box. That being said, I think I'm gonna slice this and adapt this piece to fit in there. So yeah, I've been using magnets. A little janky, but it's also working. All right, it's kind of tough to do that. My hands are all cramped up. Always sucks to put a hole inside of the bus, but it's looking okay. I'm gonna take an angle grinder now and see if I can clean up this edge a little bit and make this final cut right here. And then uh, on to the next thing. So this is a sanding disc. Well, I've used this a lot, so it's pretty beat down, but basically it's like this sandpaper tightly woven. I use this to try and clean up my edge. It mostly worked. I'll show you how the edge looks. So we've got a nice clean, hopefully square hole. Now I can take this sheet right here and adapt it to this space. This was the easy part. This next part is the hard part. Well, it looks like we have a pretty good fit. Pretty good over here. Just a little too tight right here. A little bit of fine tuning, and then I think I gotta figure out a way to secure this back into place. Okay guys, so minor problem here. This bracket is directly in front of this. I'm gonna cut this off and repurpose it over here to attach the wall to the box. We're gonna have to take one of these from the other sheet and screw it on over here somewhere to attach it on this side. So I got it next. Okay, so that was a lot of work, but we do have a usable bracket now that we can attach this bus panel to the side of our storage box with. Okay, so I need to trim a little bit off of here, but my next move is screwing this in right here. Well, I made it through another day of bus work, but my pants did not. Sorry, pants. Actually, that's not a bad look. All right, guys, so back to work on the side of the bus. I have this panel here. It's kind of flopping around, especially over here. And I think it would help me out to have it adhered to the back piece. So I'm gonna put some of the only adhesive that I have right now in here. I think it's gonna help out with the cosmetics here. This is a weird way to do this, but it's actually working really well. Okay, so we will let that sit for a while, let it cure, and then we'll be back to work out here. <laughs> 
Guys, Sam has been crushing it with the technical finish work. Got some nice things going on in here. So we'll just put on the gas struts and screw this little handle hole underneath here. Let's get this guy up. Nice. We got this little cabinet with the soft closing door. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. It's coming along. We're doing it. All right, guys, so 24 hours has passed. Take this down. All right, so this is great. This bus wall is rock solid now. Now I don't have to worry about these two pieces flopping around. All right, so I need to reposition these and um, get them really flush with here so that I can then attach my piece back. My magnets to hold this metal in place. <laughs> Look where I left them. There's my magnets. These things have definitely been coming in handy for this exterior work. So I've got this in a great spot. I'm gonna drill this panel in, somehow figure out how to get the next bracket in a good spot. All right, so I've got all my holes drilled in this bracket and now I have some stainless steel screws to attach it to the box. Hopefully these won't rust. Okay, I ain't going nowhere. All right, I think I can make this work, so it's time to lay out some screw holes. Now that that side over there is secure, I've got this sheet of metal behind here, and I'm gonna screw into both sides of this to connect these two. So the next thing I've got to do is connect these pieces to these pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice some of this up, stick it behind here and screw in here and here. Now I can't do it everywhere because right here, these two panels are tight to each other, but I should be able to do like one here, one here, one here, and one here. And hopefully that'll suck these two together, make it look decent. So now I gotta crawl under here and lodge these up in place. All right, so I've connected this bottom piece to this top piece in these four spots. We're pretty good now. It's a decent seam, all things considered. And um, I just wanna add just a bit of rigidity here. You know, we're just a little bit too loose. So I'm gonna take this, go inside, clamp it to the frame, screw this into it, and that's gonna stiffen all this up, and then we will pretty much be done with this. Not bad. Guys, maybe, just maybe, it's gonna finally be my last time underneath this bus. Definitely probably isn't, but a bus builder can dream. But hey, at least it's not wet. At least it's beautiful Florida weather. Could be cold and wet, in which case this might not be happening. All right. Let's screw this thing in and then we're done. That's pretty much done. Wish that was a little tighter, but yeah, I'll add one more piece down here. Okay, so I don't love the bounciness of this, so I'm putting just one more piece of metal in here. You know, something like this. Yeah, we'll slice a piece off of this and then screw it in right there. So this bus wall repair job is all done and I'm actually pretty happy with it. It sort of looks like a Frankenstein fix up job. Certainly better than a gaping hole inside of the bus. Metalworking is definitely not my forte. I don't know if you wanna follow my recommendations here or do what I did. Some of you guys could probably weld this together, make it look fantastic, but I'm actually pretty happy with this. I'm really kind of just a guy who can screw things together, but sometimes I guess that's all you need. Not too bad, but very nice. I think that this is a very nice. I like it. 